the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Mr. Taylor, did you cheer when Donald Trump became president? Yes, I was very pleased compared to the alternative. He was a vast improvement. Jared Taylor might seem to be the exact opposite to those who wear hoods and robes, but he's not. His extreme views would have him pretty much cut from the same cloth. You are the man in the suit and tie who presents just like a Klansman, ultimately. What I speak about is the truth as I see it. Hello, I'm Jared Taylor. With the American Yale Renaissance. University graduate runs the white nationalist organization, American Renaissance. That is Donald Trump's great achievement, to have been the standard bearer, even if unconsciously, of white interests. For him, Donald Trump's victory was personal having actively pushed for his election. We need smart, well-educated white people who will assimilate to our culture. Vote Trump. How do you think your words make a black African-American feel? I speak the truth, no matter who is listening. And So you don't what? care how they feel? Don't you know, they care about how I might feel? About my country being turned into a third world, a third world extension? You aren't under threat, really. Of course we are. Is that, oh, so, okay, so you're coming from a place of fear. I'm coming from uh, the fact that I do not wish to become a minority. Just that fear of change is what drives Jared Taylor. He uses his website to make debunked science claims that whites are intellectually smarter than blacks and opposes interracial relationships. I believe in complete freedom of association. If people wish to do that, so be it. I don't want it for me and I don't want it for my children. But also in stating that, you are disseminating this information as to why you don't want that. And in the process, you're putting people down. What about you, are, you are being racially discriminatory towards other people when you say what I don't want for me <laughs> is based on your IQ is lower, you live in a different way, you will start muddying the waters with white people. That is, that is the way in which it seeps under the door so and becomes I'm not, hate. So I'm not supposed to express my preferences. You I'm can. not supposed to. Well, thank you. Can. you. It's the way thank in which you. you do it and you know it. You, I express you are, it as best I can. You are a divider. You are Look, a hater. A hater. Look, Elizabeth, have I said anything at all that suggests I hate anyone? I, I, in, I hate in her. such Come lovely on. terms, I you hate are her. disseminating the hate conversation. You really understand nothing. You really understand that. I'm disappointed in you. Well, well, I'm I, disappointed I'm, I'm in okay you. I'm okay with your disappointment. H human beings don't come first to you. Color seems to come first to you. If I believe that East Asians are smarter than whites, I shouldn't talk about that because talking about that pr promotes hate? Trust me, we have had hate towards Asians as well in our country. And it is very easy to create hate. I wonder why. Why do you say that? Because we are a tribal species. While we may be a nation divided on policies, we are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly forms. Active shooter, multiple people down. Since becoming president, Donald Trump has made a point of condemning hate crimes. It comes in the wake of one of the country's most shocking massacres. Mr. Roof is charged with nine counts of murder. This year, 22-year-old Dylan Roof was the first federal defendant to be sentenced to death for a hate crime after shooting dead nine black parishioners. He did so after reading online racist propaganda. Somebody had to do something because, you know, black people are killing white people every day on the streets. One website Dylan Roof took an interest in was that of the Council of Conservative Citizens, peddling misleading information about the number of whites killed by blacks. Jared Taylor was its spokesperson but he rejects any claim that what Dylan Roof read was deceptive. He was reading supremacist, white supremacist propaganda. No, no. Which you are across, and I know you are across. Elizabeth, In essence, that's Elizabeth, how you are seeing. you really are misunderstanding the situation. He was this drug-addled, crazy 
a complete misfit white guy. And what he did was absolutely abominable. But what set him over the edge was discovering the fact that what he'd been told all his life about race and crime in the United States by the major media, by people like yourself, was wrong. There is something about race that is part of identity and that it's legitimate and that we must while we have the chance, seize the opportunity to pursue our own destiny and not be submerged by people who are unlike ourselves. This is your life mission, almost. Well, it's, uh, it's what I have chosen to do. I consider it my duty.